Q dove into the Red Cross recently. I feel like Q might eventually, maybe, we might get the hope that they're going to start talking about geoengineering soon. Um, my hope is that that will happen because what everybody's biggest thing about Q and the Trump team is that, well, isn't this so great to have populism, but we're hearing nothing about the fact that, you know, right now it's like raining down chemicals upon me as I stand here and um, that 5G is, you know, on the way, nano dust is everywhere and, um, you know, transgenderism is, you know, escorting in this uh, transhumanist agenda where we're supposed to create a pronoun for uh, cyborgs and um, synthetic humans that they are now genetically creating. So what Q has said recently is that the team has mentioned the Red Cross, which is huge. And they've also mentioned um, why, you know, why did Obama, you know, why are they attacking Pruitt so much about the EPA? What's going on with the Paris Accords and all of this um, uh, climate change uh, money, big, big money, right? We have Al Gore jumping from making $1 million back uh, in 2000 to now being, um, you know, worth over $100 million on these ca carbon tax uh, credit schemes. And what, what's not really being said about that is that is geoengineering, okay? Aerosol spraying is carbon tax credit schemes, okay? That is what it is. These people that are pushing for these um, climate change science, false science um, mandates to control society through the Paris Accords and through Agenda 21, which is now called resilience, that is... Um, geoengineering okay and the the companies that are doing the geoengineering are the ones making tons and tons of money um, and they these people like Al Gore are making tons of money off of these um, investments that they've been able to do through engineering fake climate change there is massive climate uh, control going on through geoengineering but it is not because of as I said before humans breathing or um, our vehicles it really is not um, it is because they are spraying tons and tons and tons and hundreds and thousands of tons of, um, of aluminum, barium, strontium, thorium, uh, fungi, uh, bacteria, uh, nano, uh, uh, nanotech, and psychotropic drugs into the sky. And it is uh, reflecting the heat from the earth back down to the earth um, using electromagnetic f magnetic frequencies. Um, along with scalar wave frequencies to shoot uh, laser technology between the two to create a um, virtual computer in the sky. It is a literal database system in the sky, in our atmosphere, through the ionization, through the technologies I just mentioned. So Q is touching upon this when, when Q says, you know, why, uh, why, you know, we have Podesta, John Podesta, who should be in prison, absolute prison for treason, not to mention all the heinous crimes against children. He is calling for Scott Pruitt, right, to be removed. And Pruitt is saying, we're not going to accept your climate change uh, uh, science as in you just give us, you know, the results and that is absolute. And therefore, we're supposed to just accept it and that's it. Uh, Pruitt's saying, no, we want to see the... Um, we want to see the whole thing. We want to see all of the uh, all of the calculations, all of the formulations, everything that formed these outcomes that you're now presenting to us as climate change facts. Which um, anybody who's ever really looked at the science who isn't being paid off by big climate, because now we don't just have big pharma or big ag or you know uh, big tech. We have big climate, and so. These scientists, whoever doesn't play the game, has their uh, careers destroyed. And so Q is saying, that's, you know, look into this. This is why. This climate change thing is worth, it. Q says basically, it's bigger and more evil than you can ever imagine. And I wish Q would just start saying, no, we can imagine it. We imagine it, folks. We're, <laughs> we know. We know that it's the climate, geoengineering is how they create the storms, 
that then uh, disable whole populations, uh, massive droughts, massive floods, earthquakes, hurricanes, tsunamis, um, not to mention just general killing of the population with the chemicals in the sky, ma massive biocide all around, killing off species, making bees get Alzheimer's, making um, you know, uh, livestock be completely contaminated when people are eating animals that are uh, just full of heavy metals and um, uh, nano car these nano uh, technologies. And so, yes, we understand, Q, we understand that, um, that this is happening and we understand that it's the Paris Accords are all about using this totalitarian um, climate uh, tyranny to uh, then make everybody um, abide by these ridiculous rules.